Hey, this is Leo and in this video I want to give you a quick guide on how to set up Ableset in a redundant playback system. So what I have here are two machines, uh, both running the exact same Ableton session, both running Ableset and both being connected via Ethernet. This is important to have both machines connected via Ethernet because uh, if they are connected wirelessly, especially in a live setup where there are uh, lots of other kinds of wireless signals, uh, this can cause latency issues, so uh, yeah, you always want to keep them connected via Ethernet. Setting up Ableset for redundant playback is quite simple, so I just uh, go to Ableset, go to Settings and then I enable Ablenet. You will now see that currently zero other hosts are connected, that is because I have to enable Ablenet on the other machine as well. And you can now see that they have both found each other. If I go to Safari, for example, on my iPhone, you will see in the host tab that currently both hosts, the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air, are connected. You can go to the web interface using either of these machines' IP addresses, so I'm currently on this one's IP address, but I could also uh, use this one's IP address. So now if I want to start a song, I just uh, yeah, press uh, one of the songs and playback will start on both machines simultaneously. Uh, so do all the other playback controls, they are all synced now. Ableset is also quite resilient in terms of, for example, network failures. So let's say I just uh, pull the plug here, one of, for this MacBook. Then Ableset will just switch over to the other one. You could see the, the little side change, the IP address has changed. Now I can still control this machine, for example. What's good to know is that either of these machines can fail or lose network connection or crash and Ableset will still be able to control the other machine. And yeah, that's basically it. That's uh, the basic setup of a redundant playback system. I hope this helped and I wish you a great day.